New at 6, Missouri's pension system for county sheriffs will run out of money unless a funding solution is found. A new law signed by Governor Parson puts a temporary fix in place, but many are calling for a long-term plan. Joe McLean is in Jefferson City with details. So what people don't realize is if we don't get a permanent funding source, the money's going to run out. Boone County Sheriff Dwayne Carey is the newest board member of the Missouri Sheriff's Retirement System. Because of a court ruling in 2021, that system had to stop collecting a $3 fee on all court cases, as that was ruled to be unconstitutional. Since then, the system has been without a consistent funding source. Governor Mike Parson signed a law this year that temporarily helps the problem. It allows governments and third parties to contribute to the system. It requires sheriffs put five percent of their salaries into it and it provided two and a half million dollars in state funds but again that's not permanent a county sheriff is a county employee they're not a state employee so that's an obstacle right trying to get the state to fund that and again they were very gracious doing the 2.5 million appropriation but they've made it pretty clear that's not going to stay in there for the remainder of time the law is getting some pushback over a provision that requires newly elected sheriffs only be enrolled in the sheriff's retirement system, freezing all other public pensions. Those sheriffs won't be vested until after two full terms. But Sheriff Kerry says he's not as concerned about the new sheriffs who have time to plan for their retirement. But it's the guys that have been in for 18, 20, 24, 28 that they're at the end of their career and they don't have the time to save the kind of money that they're going to need in retirement now that this money could go away. There's an effort underway to actually make sheriffs part of the Missouri Constitution, officially enshrining that position at the state level, not just the county level. Kerry said he expects that effort to move forward in the coming legislative session. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News.